Cool. Thank you, Agent47, for uh, putting me on to this. This is amazing. Uh, Cafe in Bradford receives hate mail for calling itself Greedy Pigs. Um, the owner of a Bradford cafe has vowed not to change its name despite receiving hate mail and calling her to drop the extremely wrong, disgusting, shameful moniker. 45 she is. Um, 45. Oh, yeah. Dunk Naylor, thanks for that. Yeah, please, please drop us a tip via Brave. There's actually a link to Brave Browser in our description, and it's an affiliate link. So if you go on that, it's like a stripped-down version of Chrome, but just by using it, you support the show. If you click that link that we've got, you will automatically support the show. You don't even need to do anything, um, which is, yeah, it's going on quite nicely. I think we've got about 80 baht or something now. I do appreciate it. But anyway, yeah, here we go. The letter says... Um, I'm writing to inform you that as a whole community, <laughs> where this, this single person is speaking for everyone, that always ends well, doesn't it? Are extremely concerned about the name of your shop. Um, the name Greedy Pigs is extremely wrong, disgusting, shameful and offensive to passers-by in the community. I tell you what, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. When I walk down the street and I see a guy selling the socialist worker... I find that wrong, disgusting, shameful, and op offensive. Am I going to stop him? Am I going to try and get on him? When I when I see the Scientology place offering those free tests, I find that wrong, disgusting, shameful, and offensive. But you know what, man? It's a free country, or at least it's supposed to be. Who the fuck are you to tell someone? If you don't like it, don't eat there. Um... Please immediately change the name of your shop to something that's um, not... There's no need to call it Greedy Pigs. There's no need. There's no need to do anything. Back to the thing. Use common sense. That's not how you should be naming a shop. Go fuck yourself, authoritarian assholes. Not everyone in the community believes in the same thing as you, and not everyone agrees nor appreciates silly shop names. Um, who cares? Who the fuck cares? This is insane. And here's the hint at the bit. The bit. Not everyone finds the name Greedy Pigs or pictures of pigs to be pleasant. And not everyone consumes pork and pig products. Well, so what? So fucking what? When I walk through the Northern Quarter, I don't like to put my hair in a bun and drink wanky beer. For overpriced prices. But I'm not going to write them a letter telling them not to do it. Jesus Fucking Christ. Jesus Christ. This is insane. Um, then advise, like, to attract customers from a halal diet and vegetarian. Here's the thing, right? If the place is not going to attract customers and not going to survive, then it is on market forces to decide that. Who gives a fuck about... I, I mean, you know, I'm not vegetarian, but I'm not going to tell places off for being vegetarian. I'm not, we've got the eighth day in Manchester, am I going to write them? Excuse me, you're not going to attract meat eaters. Disgusting. Disgusting. You've actually got vegan written on the front of your place. What about non-vegans, eh? What are you doing to include them? Fuck you. Fuck all of you. Fucking authoritarian pricks. Oh, here we go. In the Quran, pork is explicitly declared haram, which means forbidden. Yes, but we have freedom of religion and freedom from religion in this country. Jesus fucking Christ. This is the nonsense that feeds into the people who think that Islam's going to take over and all the rest of it. It, fe it feeds into the extremism, doesn't it? I and mean, even the Metro um, putting this out there is going to feed into it. But you know what? Fuck it. They need to. We need to. I'd rather they know rather than them sort of saying, oh, well. Let's keep this from them, because that never works, does it? But Jesus Christ, who cares that it's haram? Most of the Muslims I know don't give a fuck about this stuff. Mo like, most of the Muslims I know will have a joke about it. and have a They don't care. They don't stand there going, oh, it's haram, you fundamentalist asshole. The vast majority of Muslims understand that other people live their lives in other ways. So who the fuck are you to start speaking for what's haram or not? Fuck, go fuck yourself. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. These fucking people. 
Ah, oh, they disgust me. Martin said it's a peaceful religion. Well, like, you know, like all religions. The thing is, Rant, most people who follow most religions don't really understand it. They've not actually read it. They don't actually follow it to the letter. It's just a basic totem that they hang on to to make them a decent person, you know? And, um... And that's just the way it is. But then within any religions, you know, it's, it's like saying all Christians fuck kids. And all Christians don't fuck kids. When I was homeless, I lived with a reverend for a while. Dude took me in, man. I didn't believe in God. He knew I didn't believe in God. He knew full well. And yet he let me live with him. Took me in. He was amazing. Um, I mean, Jesus Christ. If you're going to get onto Islam, the thing, the thing about Islam is it's like... Obviously, there's some nutbags that are just like, they're all evil. Um, but then, then the media kind of portray them all as good. And the problem is that it's it's like, well, no, 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 no. It's the, is it the 5%, the 10%, the 15%? You know, there's these, there's, there's, you know, there's some that have got it at 20% that sympathise with suicide bombings. But then again, you're looking at like, well, how did they do the question? How did they frame it? You know, that can vary a lot. What we're worried about here is the 5 or the 10% or the even the 1%. You know, when you're talking about 1.2 billion people, what the fuck are we going to do about them? Um, people that write letters like this, you know, these might be part of the 10% that are sort of fundamentalist and weird. Now, with Christians overall in this country, we kind of have a thing for the weirdos, don't we? We kind of have a thing. And I think the reason that we don't have Christian attacks in this country is because we're allowed to mock them. We're allowed to talk about it. I think for me, the main thing is we need to be able to talk about it. You know, we had this, we had that with the, the bombing here and everyone was like, don't look back in anger. And one of the few decent things that Morrissey said is like, I do look back in anger. You know, the, the, the mosque that radicalized that guy, that place needs to be fucking closed. But we, but we dance around it. You know, even, you know, I mean, fucking Tommy Robinson did a recording and then, and then Channel 4, was it Channel 4 or Newsnight? They went back a year later and got the exact same footage, and for some reason it was legitimate when they just copied his work. But st it's still there. It's still there. I mean, there could be other reasons for that. Maybe the police have infiltrated it. Maybe they're using it. Maybe it's better to keep it open. Honestly, maybe it is. Maybe if they know that's where all the nutcases are going, maybe we keep it open. You know, I might be like, my, I might be like, my, I don't want to send my girl to a, to a gig. She might, you know, something might happen. Uh, because they do murder children, obviously. So, but it's complicated. It's all really, really complicated, isn't it? And that's the problem with it being shut down. That's the problem with that guy from Asda the other day getting fired for sharing comedy. It's bad, man. If you're banned from talking about it, then, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Eret said, it says, the Islamic terror attacks are all engineered psyops done by secret intelligence operators. <laughs> all right, of course they are, mate. Um, of course they are. <laughs> or maybe some people are just fucking stupid, hey? Eh? You know, most uh, most people who believe in social justice, they're fine. They're just good people, and they genuinely want things to be better. But there's a few fundamentals. He's saying that about um, woke. You know, woke people. Woke is a religion, and its and its mantra is anti-racism. That's what it worships. It worships anti-racism, and most of them are fine. Some of them are a bit weird, and it's the same. It's the same as anything. Same with Islam. It's always the same thing. You're going to tar them all. It ruins the conversation. It ruins the nuance. If woke's a religion, we need to know what to do about the fundamentalists, the people who are setting off bombs, the people who are attacking old people in the street and all the rest of it, the people who are cutting off children's penises. <laughs> what do we do about that? Um... And I mean this psyops thing. I don't. I. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit does happen. Honestly, I don't. I don't think anyone's that organised. But yeah, I. Ho I hope that this woman. I hope this woman's okay. Because this is really bad, man. This isn't good. <laughs> the West Yorkshire Police spokesman said a hate incident has been recorded in relation to <laughs> hate incident. I was the victim of a hate incident the other day. It doesn't mean anything. Get